What? What did you say? Hang on. All right. Uh, where's Chad? How are we? Let's check. Let's check. Uh, sorry, answering a message. Um, okay, where's chat? Uh, let's see here. Okay, all right, sounding great, excellent, fantastic, good. Uh, all I need now, I think, is some place to sit. Hang on. One second here. You guys can come with me. Oh, I know, Till. I know you want to go in there. You might be okay. Um, she hangs out with Custard in my office, like, all day long, and they're fine. Well, mostly fine. Every now and then, Custard will start going to try trouble with her, and then I'll yell at him a couple times and make him go away, and, and then he gives up, and they just hang out all day, and it's fine. And as long as they don't just, you know, they don't get near each other, it's okay. Um, but he has been starting a lot of extra trouble with her uh, out and around the house, so we'll just give it a shot. If he, if he immediately wants to go start trouble with her, then we'll put uh, one of them out, probably her, since I don't know who's in the house. For her part, she's super submissive. You know, she wants the kids to respect her, and she'll hiss at kittens, you know, to, and, and other cats to say, stay back, give me your respect. But if, you know, like Custard, if they decide to push the issue, she immediately becomes submissive. She'll submit to him and, and uh, be like, okay, you know, like you win. Uh, which is, I think, good. It does, some cats just don't handle that well. Um, and I think maybe Custard is one of those where even when she, and Maggie too, even when she submits, they, they don't give up as quickly as they ought to. Okay. Anyway, yeah, they're both very aware of each other right now. Oh, but not going to do anything, so that's good. All right, let's check this camera angles. Hi, Till. How are we doing here? Well, I think that's okay. The light might be a little strange. I can close the window, but this also might work pretty well. We'll see. Okay. So, hey, everybody. Uh, it's Sunday. We missed mailbag yesterday. Turns out that was a very good thing. It was uh, fortunate. Um, the reason being that we started having major internet problems yesterday, too. And if we had had mailbag, those problems would have been right during it, and this would have been unviewable, and it would have just been awful for everybody. So, in a way, I'm really glad um, that we had to postpone it. Uh, it just worked out, I guess, uh, in that sense. And uh, the problems did resolve yesterday, even though we had to tech out this morning to uh, check on it anyway. Uh, so right now everything looks good, you know, fingers crossed, knock on wood, whatever your superstition is. Uh, news this week, let's see, well there's news around the house, we've done quite a bit. Uh, I'm looking right now at our, our brand new um, refinished driveway with um, the sinkhole filled in finally. It's been a long time, that feels really good to have done. Um, I don't think there's any major academy news this week though except uh, adoptions. We've got some adoption news, which is a big deal. Uh, let's see if I can get this right. Right now, we have a approved official adopters for, um, let's see, it is Quid and Raindrop are going together, which are, uh, I think Raindrop's probably the one that Custard's playing with. He's, oh, wow, that's some play right there. Custard, go easy now, buddy. Hey, 
Custard, this is me. Take it easy, buddy. Oh, just gonna go to the next target. <laughs> Uh, okay, so quid and raindrop are going together, and then we have, um, oh man, this is the one I got to check. I think it's doubloons and farthing. That sounds right to me. I think it's doubloons and farthing that are going together. And then uh, we also just found out that we have Wellington and Squall uh, are being adopted together. So that's really exciting. Uh, I, I mean, I'm super excited. Uh, and I'm just, I'm so I'm so glad about that. I know a lot of people uh, know that I was worried about the two of them uh, being adopted and how much it might affect me, uh, which is, you know, there's, there's truth to that. And I, you know, but I'm going to be fine. And I think that the thing that I really had hoped for was that they would be adopted by someone that we kind of know, you know, that somebody that's, that's maybe on the Discord or somebody that's been around for a while, um, you know, just so that, that uh, I know that they're, they're cared for, <laughs> you know. I, we know that for all of our adopters, so it's a really, it's a silly thing to say. I know all of our adopters have always been great. Dawes picks wonderful people, but that doesn't change the way that I've felt. Um, so I'm extremely thrilled that the adopter for uh, Wellington here and his sister, wherever she is, uh, is a, a discorder. It's been a discorder for a while now and uh, and is super excited about it and has told me that I can announce them, but uh, I'll do it. I'll, if they don't announce themselves, I'll do it on Discord. Um, it's, uh, yeah, uh, that, that's fun, right? I don't know. Whatever. Um, okay, so that's it. We've got all those kids have spoken for adoption. Now, they're going to disappear overnight because... Um, I, I don't think any of the adoptions are scheduled yet, and I don't think any of them are going to happen immediately. I think the earliest one might be like kind of Thanksgiving weekend, uh, maybe. And then other than that, uh, it's up in the air. So, so it's not like they're gone tomorrow, um, even though I guess uh, some of them could be, not the little ones. Actually, none of those, yeah. So uh, we still do need adopters for Till and for Serenity and for, uh, let's see, that leaves um, Ledger. That's not Ledger. Uh, Till, Serenity, Ledger, uh, Drizzle, and Sprout. Wow, that sounds like too many. I guess that's right, though. It sounds, sounds right. Okay, good. Well, those are some great kittens, so I, I know they're going to find the right adopters in due time. Uh, not worried about it. Okay, uh, why did I put all this stuff all the way over here if I'm going to sit in front of the camera? I don't know. Uh, but let's move some of it over here so that we can open some. We got some letters this week. Uh, we got some packages. I think this should be fun. And I'm going to try to go through all of it, and I'm going to try to go through all of it in time. Uh, reason being that uh, we're already, you know, one day short this weekend, so I don't want to have to push it to another week. Um, but at the same time, I have uh, plans this afternoon to go out with lovely DJ since it's her vacation, and uh, that means I want to make sure that we get done at a reasonable time today. So, there we go. This is a, a really cute little block kitty that says, uh, Mia Ow, Mia Ow. That's, uh, that's very cute. I don't think I've seen it written that way before, and that, uh, that actually works pretty well. Hmm. Uh, in Glasgow, all right. Well, maybe that's how, uh, how it's done, then, if you're Scottish. This says, Dear Chris and Dr. DJ. There's also a kitten here that's uh, Theodore Cookie Crumble Tabby Bingle Mix. Very affectionate and intelligent. What a cute little kitty. So I'll show you that while I'm reading. Dear Chris and Dr. DJ, thank you for all the wonderful work you both do at Kitten Academy. It's always a joy to watch and lovely to interact with. Can you please offer us any advice on getting a second cat, a rescue cat, to keep our beloved companion three-year-old Theo company? We've never owned more than one cat at a time. You have so many, and it looks lovely. Any tips greatly appreciated. Thanks with love from Serena, or Serena, Serena, I think, and family. Uh, in London, Serena and family, um, I'll tell you what, I've got, I've got one tip that I think is a good one. The rest of my tips are just kind of like, you know your cats better, um, you know, than, than I do, and you really got to kind of play it by ear and, and be ready to, to work with them. Um, but uh, my number one tip is find your local animal shelter and volunteer to foster and tell them. Uh, you can just 
tell them straight up, hey, I've got, you know, I've got an older cat. I'd like to get, a, 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 it's not older, your cat's three, so he's a kitten too. Tell them I've got an older kitten, and, uh, you know, I thought I would like to get him a companion, but I don't know what's going to work out. Uh, maybe I can foster some cats for you until we find one that's right. And, uh, and that would be really cool because then not only are you helping them out and you're able to help out maybe some more cats, but you kind of get to sample until you find one that your kitten is really uh, going to pal up with. Um, and then uh, you can just adopt them from there. It's almost always the case that a shelter will allow a foster to, you know, have first dibs on a cat that they're fostering that they wanted to adopt. I think that's a great deal if you can get that done. Now, if you can't, that's okay too. Um, once you have another cat... First off, kittens are always easier to introduce, but you never know what kind of personality they might develop later in life. So you've really got to be careful um, if you have a kitten to train them and, and kind of keep on top of it all the time so you don't end up with like a Custard and Logan situation. Um, but kittens can be good that way. On the other hand, adult cats, you know, you know they're going to get along and their personalities kind of get set, you know, in a way after a while. So you don't have to worry that when they grow up, they're not going to be able to be friends anymore. Uh, so, um, you know, that's kind of a mixed... That's why I say most of the rest of my advice, you know, you kind of got to play it by ear. Uh, and then when it actually comes to introductions, there's a lot of advice for how to do that. Well, I always say, give the new cat its own room. Make sure it knows it's its own room. You know, keep it in there for maybe the whole first day, at least until it seems really comfortable. Then start to let it explore the rest of the house. Uh, but always have that room just for it so it can go back to it. If it gets, you know, if it's overwhelmed, if the other cat's too much for it, it knows it's got its own place it can be that's just for it. Don't do the introductions with the new, the, the old cat in the new cat's room. Make sure the new cat goes out to meet him in sort of like neutral territory. Don't, don't let the old cat sort of encroach in that space, especially since the old cat will probably feel like that space is his, you know. Uh, so that's my advice there. The rest of it is, you know, kind of do it, do it as you can. So I think it's a great question, though, and I, I appreciate the opportunity uh, to share that with everybody because I think, I think that's a question that a lot of people have. So uh, I hope that works out for you. And I think getting your cat, um, you know, sort of a buddy to play with and to, and to buddy with is it's a great idea. Here's Quid. Hey, buddy. All right. Let's see. This says post to trick or treat, and it's got two kittens still dressed up in their uh, costumes, and they are goblin candy. Uh, familiar scene. Aw. This says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and the KA community, Happy early Halloween. October is my favorite month with the crunch of leaves and the smell of crisp air, as well as the timeless tradition of eating some, no, uh, much of the snack-sized candy before Halloween. I love all the cats and kittens at KA. Aw, but I love Bill. Yes, me too. Well, uh, thanks for all the fun, Rody Ann. P.S. Don't let my handwriting fool you. I have not been in the third grade for years. Oh, that's really sweet. And I see you also sent uh, a wonderful donation. Um, oh, that's that's super generous. Um, and uh, you made it out to me. That's um, that's thank you um, uh, to my my personal name, which has always been the thing. This gives me another chance to talk about something wonderful, though. And it's a very generous donation. Thank you so much for that. Um, the thing I, I wanted to mention is that's that's another thing I did this week. Wow, it's been a very productive week. I know you guys haven't seen much of me, um, but I have been getting quite a bit done. Uh, we also cleaned some of the basement. But the thing I wanted to mention is, yes, uh, it's been a long time coming. But about a year ago, uh, almost exactly a year ago, I told you guys that I finally made Kitten Academy an official business. Uh, that's been a real sort of mixed bag. Uh, and it was just this week that I finally went and opened that business banking account that we would need if we wanted to actually cash checks made out to Kitten Academy instead of to me, which is how it should be, and it's taken me way too long to do that. And I did, um, I did want to sort of say, anybody that sent a check prior to today, um, I would like to just say I'm not, I'm not going to cash those because it. At this point, I think it's gone so long for some people, it's gone so long where they really should not expect me to cash it. It would be unreasonable. And then there's a whole bunch of people that are kind of in the middle where they're like, I, you know, I don't know if they would expect it or not, and I just don't want to surprise anybody. So uh, I think we're basically saying clean slate here uh, as far as that goes. I have to tell you guys, I, I so appreciate 
um, th that you have, you know, that you've made these donations, and I know uh, I really let the ball drop on that, and I, I feel terrible about it. Um, that's all I can say, uh, you know, but we're finally moving in the right direction. That's all I got for it. So, okay, uh, speaking of moving, let's keep going. Okay. Oh my goodness, that's stuck in there. That's a thick one. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, cool. It's a little Halloween scene. I bet it's a, oh, it is a pop-up. Okay, so we got a spooky house on a hill and a cat and a uh, jack-o'-lantern and a mouse all running around. And another donation. Thank you so much. Oh, there's the note. Wishing everyone at KA a happy Halloween. Aw, that's so sweet. Good luck to Teaspoon for his surgery. Love. Ja Jana, Jana, I think Jana. That's what that says. A big fan since Port Oranges. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I would love to get another orange mom in here. They're so fun, aren't they? Um, let's see. There's usually a little tab that makes this thing stand up, but I am not finding it. So let's just stretch it a little bit. See if the cats want to wreck that. They usually do. And you also sent uh, a donation, which is just wonderful and, and generous and so much appreciated. I really can't tell you enough. I think someone just used the litter box. I hope it's in the litter box, and I don't think they covered up. Let me just take one second here, because this is something you guys uh, are not here for, thank goodness. Uh, you get to hear it, though, in uh, all this wonderful sound up close. All right. There's a market for like ASMR of emptying litter boxes. It's kind of a weird niche. Probably not, huh? You know what? I bet it's a thing. Everything is a thing already on the internet. Okay, uh, here we have a giant letter that comes all the way from Australia. Wow. Uh, that's uh, like where all the Schwarzenegger's from, right? Um, no, that's a, that's a joke. I don't know. That joke usually goes the other way. Uh, from Australia. Anyway, we've got these great little cat stickers on the back, though, that I love. They're really cute patterns, and then they're also decorated up with a little bit of sparkle. Uh, here, I covered up the address, but I'm covering it twice. I don't know how well you can see all that. <laughs> uh, these big kittens playing with custard? These girls are so, so good-natured. Okay. Why am I not using the letter opener? I don't know. All right. Here we go. Wow, this is a big card. It says, have a chilled birthday. And uh, wow, I can't even get into everything. This is a beach scene, and there's all kinds of animals here, including a kitten who appears to be burying uh, an otter, a stoat of some kind, in sand. Um, oh, a meerkat, maybe. Yeah, okay. And we've got a crab stealing some ice cream. We have some kind of a bear sitting, two bears sitting on the beach, a bunny rabbit, Another meerkat in the background buying ice cream for Mr. Chimpy. Uh, that is quite a busy scene. Oh, it continues inside. Oh my goodness, that is a lot. I love it. Um, well, <laughs> there's a gray kitten in here that's a gray floof, uh, and he's being carried away by his kite. That's pretty great, too. It says, C is for cat. Uh, happy birthday, Chris. Love from Julie, Brian, and Coco. Well, thank you, uh, Julie, Brian, and Coco. This says, okay to read on stream, but if you think it's too long, then don't. <laughs> That's cute, too. Oh, thank you for the stickers. Those are, those are good. Um, okay, I thought I heard a, a, a growl. Let's see. Okay. Hi, Chris and Dr. DJ. Uh, here's a big thank you from Australia for continuing to provide for all the wonderful cats and kittens that flow through your door. Looking back over the past year, one of the fun highlights was you wearing a red tutu during mailbag on New Year's Eve. Uh, that's funny because I was just putting that away um, in the Halloween costume uh, box, uh, and I was thinking about that too. We look forward to mailbag so much, the post office must love you on collection day. <laughs> some of them do, some not. We never know what will pop up. The tiny miniature stacking dolls were actually cats. How sweet. People are so generous and imaginative. We learned so much about cats and kittens during mailbag and also watching you interact with them on the stream. 
Uh, love your so-called rambling, always fun, informative, and educational. Having cameras at floor level gives us such a wonderful insight into their world. I love seeing things from a cat's point of view. Love when the cats hang out during mailbag. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. All right, you guys. That's a little too much play. All right. Here we go. Um, love when the cats hang out during mailbag. We were in fits when Spatula just blithely picked up a fluffy toy on a stick and strolled out through the kitchen. I remember that. Serenity learnt to open her door, wandered next door, and played with her kitten's toys and inspected the, their stuff. Yes, she was amazing at opening that door. She hasn't been able to, or hasn't opened her door in her new place. I wonder if she could. There is a... The trick that she knew was always standing on the thing that was right next to the door handle and then kind of pressing on it until the door opened. And there is a box right next to her door handle in her new room, but I, I don't think she's even tried. So I guess that means she's happy uh, in there right now. Um, let's see here. Uh, recently, a random video popped up. Bebop makes a mess. Just hilarious. We were falling about in fits when she somehow fell into the food bowl and then flicked it everywhere. Oh, that was the, in, her, in her box, in her, in her crate. I remember that day because... I, I, I thought she was going to do that. I was basically like, don't, I feel like I was like, don't. And then I turned around and when I turned back, it was just a disaster. It was like in two seconds. Uh, I don't know. That's the way I remember it. It's been such a long time, but I definitely remember it. Um, <laughs> these are the unforgettable moments we all love. We love your sense of humor, the endless array of t-shirts and socks. Back in May, you noticed Nibbles in the bowl with two kittens. You commented they're a very bold family. That's good. Wow. I'm better than I... Um, then later, what's your beef, Wellington? Ha ha, again. I'm glad that these don't go entirely unappreciated. Sometimes we are the funniest things. I was in stitches when during mailbag you went into the next room and said, Hey, Loganberry, everyone wanted to see you. How are you so wet? Did you pee on yourself? No, nope, that's water from the rain. Another morning, someone peed in the basket. Uh, they all got carried downstairs and we can blame, blame Brawly for that one because it was Brawly her. <laughs> Then we had Maggie dramatically trying to cough up a hairball, and at the same time, here our chocolate Burmese cocoa is throwing up on the carpet in stereophonic sympathy. In May this year, it was an explosion of kittens. It had crossed my mind whether you had ever had three mom cats at once, and then Serenity arrived, but wait, there's more. More tinies arrived, and darling puddles took over their care. My heart was just bursting with love every time I checked in. Sometimes Mother Nature has her own plan. You hand-rearing the two tinies was so heartwarming, you couldn't have done more for these two tinies, and seeing Squall and Wellingtons grow and begin to thrive was such a joy. Just look at them today. It's a credit to you. Your devotion and commitment are awe-inspiring. Uh, with new mums, there's a constant round of floofs, kittens growing fast from unseeing little puffs weaving their heads from side to side, then looking curiously everywhere once eyes are open, then taking tentative wobbling steps and moving to more assured walking and strutting in their eager first attempts at climbing. There's always the loud one, the climb on your back one, the leg climbers, the escape artist, the nibble on your chin or nose one, or I'd rather or pee on the beanbag, or I can't quite get the hang of eating solid food, where's mum? This is, this is a great letter. I think that's so funny. You just made me think of quid still cannot figure out the crunchy treat food, you know, the crunchy food that everybody goes crazy for. If I brought some out here right now, they would rush in here like a stampede, and quid would be the one kitten just kind of looking like, what's everybody so excited about? And he'd go over there and sniff, and he still, he, can't, he doesn't know how to eat the crunchy food. He can't figure it out. I don't know why, but... Uh, yeah, it's, I don't know. I didn't even know you were in here. Yeah, how long have you been in here? Um, <laughs> how do you make chicken? Uh, do you have chicken? Yes. Yeah. What do you have? Leftover Your leftover chicken pie? Oh, okay. Um, I can come in there and help you get it started if you want. It's real easy. Um, just use some, use some oil in the Instant Pot so it doesn't stick. Put in the chicken, push it down as flat as you can get, put in just enough water to cover it, pinch of salt, turn it on. With what you got, probably 20 minutes, 25. 20 minutes of what? Uh, meat stew. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. 20, 25, I don't know. 
Okie dokie. Um, let's see. So, we, that's, so that's how we make chicken for teaspoon. I guess now you know the secret recipe. We typically use, um, because it's cheap, what we usually get are chicken thighs bone in, skin on. And it's kind of fun because I've discovered when you cook them with the bone in, I've, after they're done cooking, I pull all the bones out and I try to get the little bits of cartilage that are on there. Uh, I don't always get them all. That's fine. doesn't hurt anybody. Um, so um, the fun thing I've discovered, though, is when you cook them with the bone in, it's kind of a bone broth. And we use such a small amount of water, it becomes a, like a gelatin afterwards. And so it kind of sets into its own like cat food gelatin thing. It's, it's really perfect. Uh, let's see here. Where was I? Where were you? Thank you. Uh, nope. Love the faculty cats. It provides a continuity for the viewer and also wonderful interaction, interactive teaching base for the new kitties. No matter how many kitties are adopted, we still have Maggie, Custard, Loganberry, Ari, and Eddie to provide endless entertainment. Thank you for sharing your lives, your home, and all the amazing kitten tales. Your endless patience with all the pee poops and rotating loads of washing. Uh, but there is so much, um, no, that's good. I, got, I think I read that right. There's so much reward when you see kittens grow, thrive, and go to their forever homes. You don't just simply feed water and clean up after kitties, though. You give them the love and nurturing and playing that they need to develop into well-rounded adult cats. Cats love being touched, nursed, cared for, and they respond to your voice and body language. It isn't long, once kittens' eyes are open, that they recognize you and try to run to you. One of the happiest and funniest sights is seeing a group of kittens run towards you or when they take off after you in a bunch and escape out the door and you're like, no, no, no. Oh, okay then. Uh, the close-ups and micros, the mailbags, the chats rambling on the stream, especially after a trip to the vet, help keep us informed and connected. You and DJ have created a beautiful haven that you kindly chose to share so you can widen the exposure of what you do. I know you're aware of all this, Chris. You're living it every day, but I wanted you to see how it appears to a viewer living thousands of kilometers away, 12, 14 hours ahead of your time, experiencing the opposite seasons to you. I started watching during COVID in late 2020, have never missed a day since, usually popping by at least twice. Amazed to hear you've had a bear cruise by and raccoons. I've seen the deer and love the squirrels, chipmunks, and birds who all provide extra entertainment for the cats and also us. Recently, you were shuffling cats between rooms after mailbag and said, come with me now, Till, so we don't have that crossing the river problem. Uh, knew immediately what you meant and chuckled. <laughs> uh, have to mention, I remember when I said that, too. That's great. I'm glad somebody got that, too. Uh, have to mention, dear Teaspoon, what a gorgeous ginger boy and sweet Bill. Well, enough rambling from me. I know you don't celebrate birthdays, but we will do it for you and raise a hot coffee and chocolate biscuit to you and DJ. May you continue sharing with us all for many years to come. Wishing you good health and happiness. With love and much respect, Julie from Geelong. I think that's a place, and I'm guessing that's how you say it, in Australia. Uh, Julie, thank you so much. i got to tell you, that is the sweetest letter. It was very uh, considerate of you to say I didn't have to read the whole thing, but I, I think that was so perfectly on... Um, you know, about Kitten Academy and, and just exactly wonderful. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very, very much. Uh, let's see. This says right on the front, it's from... Whoa! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Whoa. That's enough. You're out. Okay, hang on. I'm going to mute this mic. We're going to go put him away. Give me one sec. We tried. All right, there we go. We just uh, put Custard in a little time out there. So, uh, Sufiness on Discord, it says. And on the back, it says, no sads. 
which I like. That's cute with a little heart. Okay, guys, I brought this back too. Okay. There we go. Hmm. I think somebody bit this one already. Maybe. Oh, this is so pretty. It's almost like stained glass. It looks like it's probably watercolor and marker. I don't know, but the colors are great. Hmm. I see hearts and sort of an abstract, like of the yin yang, uh, but I don't know if there's anything else going on there that I'm missing. It's very cool. Dear Kitten Academy, I hope everyone is doing well. Just wanted to send all the best to you and the Kitten Academy friends around the world. Thank you for all that you do for kittens, mom cats, and humans too. Your friends, Stephanie and Turtle the Tortoise Shell Cat. The Turtle the Tortoise Shell Cat. That's a pretty cool one. I like that as a name. That's, that's good. Right on. Uh, thank you so much. All right. Um, this one has a little stack of, oh, it's like a, it's like a scarecrow made out of pumpkins. Uh, it's three pumpkins stood up on, three jack-o'-lanterns stood up on uh, each other, making a scarecrow. I guess that's the pumpkin equivalent of like three kids in a business suit. I don't know. Could be. Ooh, fun. Okay, this is good. Oh, wow, gnomes. Oh, this is even better. James Bay Beacon Gnome Sweet Gnome. That's super cute. It is a, so we got the local paper, which I always love, and this is going to be fun, and I feel like I've read some James Bay Beacons before, but this one has a photo um, thing of uh, all these gnomes right on the front. I'll be interested to see what that's all about. And then inside, the note says, To Kitten Academy and Friends, sealed with pictures of uh, candy apples. Ooh, this kitten is so cute. It's a little orange kitten sitting on a stack of books. And it says, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, students, and KA community, a spell has been cast that your Halloween fun will last and last. Uh, have a magical Halloween. Happy Halloween, Paula in Victoria. Well, apparently the spell took because there's still plenty of Halloween here five days after. Uh, I do need to get this stuff put away, but it hasn't um, yet been the priority with everything else we've been getting done. Okay. Okay, to read on stream. Good, thank you. It says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Uh, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> this is cute. Okay. Uh, the start is about Bill. Thank you. It says, I also wonder where the B&B &B sisters find all those different stunning blankets. It's like we get to see an art show every time they send another box. I couldn't agree more. Uh, it is, they are really something. Uh, I'm not really much of an online shopper, and our local stores don't offer nearly the selection of blankets. I'm sorry, nearly the selection of everything sent in the mailbag from the B&B &B sisters' beautiful selection of blankets, the amazing cat trees, and cardboard scratcher houses all the different versions of cat beds and tunnels to the fun and interesting toys for immediate deployment and endowments. It's so much fun to see it all, which makes me think I should brave the world of e-commerce more often. I'm looking forward to seeing the fun Halloween-themed beds, tunnels, and toys. It's been lovely to watch the older kittens grow up longer than we're used to seeing, and I'm sure the sheer volume of food and litter use must be daunting. Uh, if I was eligible, I'd adopt Squall in a heartbeat. She's such a beautiful girl. That said, every cat and kitten in your care is charming in their own way and would be a wonderful furry family member. I'm sure the whole KA community is looking forward to them finding their forever home soon. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, it will be hard to see them go, but there will always be new mom, cats, and kittens that need your care and attention. Thank you once again for all you do to provide a home for the faculty and students. Kitten Academy is such a comforting place to visit when it feels like the whole world has gone off the rails. Have a happy Halloween, Paula in Victoria. Thank you very much, Paula in Victoria. That is super sweet of you and uh, uh, just wonderful. I'm, I'm really looking forward to checking that out in uh, more detail. Wow, there's a lot going on here. Okay. We almost made it through the letters, and it's 11.34. Uh, that's okay. There's not very many boxes. 
So let's keep rolling, see what we can do here. Is this going to work? Oh, hey, that one worked. I don't always get them. All right, on the outside, this says Kitten Academy for all to enjoy. All to enjoy. That's, I like, that's very... Uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoy this cat catnip cookie. Sorry, I was hungry. Please deploy love and purrs. Halfers. That's so cute from Joe and her cat halfers. Very sweet. Oh, what a cute thing, though. This is hilarious. Um, it's a gingerbread... Uh, man, catnip, gingerbread man, looks very distressed and, yes, is missing a leg, so we know why. Uh, that'll be great. In the already set up Christmas room, I think it's fantastic. I bet DJ will get a kick out of it, too. <laughs> one, Just one kick. And that's, that's not how kicks work. You don't get one kick when you have one leg. You have no kicks. Ah, for crying out loud. All right. So says April in Asheville, right on the outside, so we know what that's about. Ooh, and it comes with some bonus treats, a uh, tuna loin and some treat sticks. That's some good stuff. I'm going to put it in my pocket for now so these guys don't start tearing into it, especially Raindrop, who is a shredder. Okay, um, Mr. A, we have cute little kitten stickers on this one and a rainbow unicorn. Perfect. This is another Halloween card. Wishing you a Halloween. Okay, well, it seems like we had one, so I'm good, thanks. Uh, there's usually like another adjective. Oh, there we go. Wishing you a, ha a Halloween that's happy in every which way. Ah, uh, no tricks, only treats. April in Asheville, a.k.a. Ginger, Tuffy Cat, G, and Joey. Thank you. This is really cute. I like the way her hair is like red and it's got these shiny like coppery curls in it, uh, like literally coppery. We also have G and Joey each made a contribution here. I see Joey's got a little bit of color in, in his whisker. Oh, look at that. We got rainbow unicorns on the back. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, hang on. Uh, ooh, and a Starbucks card. Thank you very much. I'm going to put that right in here for now. The note is safe to read on stream. Oh, well, thank you for letting me know. Good morning, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and happy Halloween to all. Don't be afraid. This card is no tricks and all treats. My boys, Joey and G, have sent whiskers for Dr. DJ's collection, a Starbucks card for Mr. A, and treats to share with students and faculty. We hope everyone is happy and healthy and enjoying some beautiful autumn weather like we are here in the mountains. Happy Catterday, and remember to pet kittens and ramble on. April in Asheville, a.k.a. Ginger Tuffy Cat. Well, thank you very much. The weather today is perfect. Um, so, yeah, we are enjoying it. It's been kind of, you know, up and down, but uh, it's sunny. It's mid-60s. It couldn't be better right now. I think I'm going to put these over here for the moment, and then we'll get those sorted out. All right. Thank you very, very much. Those are uh, very generous. Okay, let's see. Not the plastic bell balls. I step on them too. Crunch. Please deploy so the kittens can bat them all over the house. From Joe and Halfers. Oh, these are the uh, like um, crochet covered things. Uh, balls. These are fun. I've actually, I've actually destroyed two of those plastic balls in the last two days. Uh, surprisingly, not by stepping on them, but by catching them in the hinge of the door and shattering them. Uh, there was one just this morning. So. Oh, these are, these are great, though. They're very pretty. They make a lot of noise. Hopefully, I can avoid stepping on any of them. So thank you so much, Joe and Halfers. Okay. Um, put those back there for the moment. This here. This is amazing. Look at the way this is all wrapped up. This is fantastic. It's got all these really cute stickers on it, too. We've got cats and hats, a pineapple, an owl, a little heart, a little tiny kitten, rainbows, happy mail, they're on every side. Um, and the ribbon, the, it's not just the red and white ribbon that is the sort of traditional thing either. This one's spiced up for Christmas with a little extra green in there. So nice with the paper wrapping. Okay. Uh, I guess I can slide this off. And then I will put this in my pocket because it's my string. I know you kids want it, but don't. It's mine. 
Okay. I should check to make sure everything... Oh, well, well it's okay. I should check to make sure everything is still uh, recording okay, too. I'm not just talking to myself at this point. Okay, we have packing material. We have Christmas in a box. Whoa, this is, it's a box full of Christmas. Ooh, and pineapples. Christmas and pineapple lights, no less. Pineapple string Christmas lights. Those pineapples are really cool. They almost look like hard candy I want to eat. Mm. Okay, uh, hang on though. There's got to be a note in this box somewhere. It looks like I opened it upside down. Whoa, there's some creepy Halloween stuff in here. It's a holiday box. There's the note all the way at the bottom. The bob? I don't know. Okay, the note. Once again, decorated. Uh -huh. <laughs> there's this card here that says, I survived today by watching Hallmark Christmas movies. That's very DJ. Ooh, it says, oh, okay, what, how is this rolled up? There we go, okay. All right, dear Mr. A, the vast majority of items in this box are for DJ. Yeah, I think she's going to love this. This is so cool. Look at this. It's a tiny Christmas tree. Now, I know I can floof this out. I don't have to do it right now. Um, and there's another one, too, that's a little smaller. And we were kind of doing a thing in the main room where we were doing all the different sizes Christmas trees. So we could almost just put these right in there. Uh, and you included ornaments and lights and tinsel, a uh, little tinsel, all the tinsel. Uh, we got these little tiny lights. This is, oh my gosh, DJ is going to lose it when she sees these little tiny string lights. That's so cute. I can't even. Oh, and you also sent special there's special ornaments like these candy canes and some stars and, uh, oh, little painted glass ornaments. Wow. I love this. I mean, this is so cool. Oh, you sent an extra knife. I'm going to put that right in the box. Um, <laughs> this looks like some kind of cat ball. This is cool. This is Halloween. It looks like pens that are bones and, uh, and syringes. Woo. That's super cool. Okay, I think you've seen everything that's in the box now, actually, so let's keep reading. There's some string lights here, too, to light up on the tree. Okay, and uh, some more little tiny gold ornaments. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> they're Ferraro Rocher. They, they're like miniature Ferraro Rocher, and, uh, except they're not, because it says here Ferretto Roger. Uh, like little tiny, you know, those little bonbons, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it, but it's like the, it's like the knockoff, like the Rulex. Uh, I love that. I always love that. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't know why my knuckles switchy. One of the cats must've scratched it a little bit. Okay. Where was I? Um, I've basically sent a tiny Christmas. Yes, indeed. Two sizes of trees, an assortment of garlands, different styles of lights, strings of mini LEDs. If she'd like to light them up, a lighted pineapple. Uh, a couple of styles of ornaments. The more intricate set is from an Etsy seller located relatively close to me in upstate New York. I fell so hard for those adorable beauties, I've ordered my own tiny tree so I can adorn it with some cute little treasures of my own. My thought was DJ might stick her decorated tree to her dashboard or put it somewhere at work so she doesn't have to be uh, far from her holiday spirit. It is, of course, a gift, and gifts don't come with conditions. Well, that's sweet of you, but you know what? That's an even better idea. She just recently is so happy she's got her own desk and sort of semi-private office at work for the first time since she's, you know, been in this field, uh, and she was uh, looking for stuff around the house to bring to kind of decorate her desk, so this that might be a perfect thing. Um, Let's see, the things for you are wrapped in the two packets with a stripy green tape on them. I've sent you pins, mostly cat or coffee themed. Oh, that's this, I guess. Oh, uh, no, that's not. I just saw stripes and thought that must be this. I guess you said pins, not pens. I know I have trouble making that pronunciation different. Hi, what are you doing to my finger? I need my finger. No, and I need my knife. It's not your knife. It's my knife. That's not your knife. This is my knife. Um, <laughs> oh, there they are. These are the pins. Okay, hang on. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. 
Um, I'm just, uh, sometimes both. There's one notable exception. It's one of your fandoms. Ooh, I figured if you didn't already have one, you needed it. I also snuck a tiny coffee cup in there. Ultimately, it's for DJ, but I hope it makes her think of you. Aw, what a sweet thing. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a lot of pins. This is... Uh, <laughs> this pin, I was going to say, it's a little cooler. It is like a little cooler, you know, like you carry around uh, drinks to the beach and... And it says, don't hate me because I'm a little cooler. <laughs> uh, this one's coffee. It says my blood type is coffee. This is a little tiny. Oh, it's a cat in a coffee cup and he's so round and sleeping. Uh, a little black kitten that says, please adopt. A big pin that says, no talk me, I'm Angie. <laughs> With a kitten facing the other way. Ooh, we have a little tiny coffee cup, an actual little Starbucks coffee. Wow. Put that there for a sec. We have another round cat in a coffee cup. This one says good morning. It can almost be the same. Well, except it's not the same cat, so that's all right. Uh, it's definitely the same like style and artist though, for sure. This one says cat coffee, and it's a cat spilling a coffee cup. Spilling out of a coffee cup even. Hey, hey, don't steal that. That's my Starbucks. Hey, my Starbucks. Oh my goodness. Look at all this. Um... Oh, another one in the cup. Look at that. That's a real theme now. This one's a little the round cat in a little round cup that says full. Uh, this one has a cat flipping. I make you some air biscuits. Oh, I see. With actual real air biscuits. This one has cats all sleeping and sitting on a cat tree. This one says cat mom club member with a little tuxie. Oh, the Star Trek uh, communicator badge pin. Oh, it's perfect. That's that's the fandom. That's so cool. I actually don't have one somehow. I think I have had one a long time ago that I'd like 3D printed. And uh, no, it hasn't made the transition. I do not have one at all. Oh, and another one in the cup collection. So we have four in the cup collection. So cute. Thank you. All right. Um, Let's see, the other packet is a knife for opening boxes that has a much lower incidence of piercing the contents. I got one for myself, too, to see if it works like it's supposed to. It does. You just took the sharp part over the tape and pull, and the blunt part stays between the box's contents and the blade. You'd probably need to replace it sooner than the other design, though. The blades are going to dull sooner than later. The pens are for DJ to take to work because I continue to be easily amused by the thought of medical professionals using thematically appropriate writing implements. <laughs> I'm amused by that too. I would think it was very funny if my doctor came in and was writing with something like this. Either one of these. Um, let's see. Uh, where was I? There we go. Everything or near enough has been taste tested and approved by Tybalt, my Eddie lookalike. Between the plastic to lick and fake foliage to bite, he was beside himself and hasn't yet forgiven me for putting the box out of his reach. He'll get over it. I have a churu bribe. Here's hoping this reaches the Academy in time for Saturday's mailbag the 28th. All my love to DJ and your very full house of cutie pies. Give the closest one a snuggle for me. Festively, Alice the Owl. Thank you very much, Alice the Owl. This is a wonderful box. I can't wait for DJ to see these Christmas trees. She's going to just flip. Uh, fantastic. Okay, let me put all this back in here. This must be, is this the pineapple tree topper? Is that what's in here? Let's just take a quick look. I know it's got to be here. I'm just going to use my finger. No, it is. It's, oh, it is. It is. Look at that. It's a little light up pineapple. The, the top is still in there. There we go. It's got lights. Um, I guess the idea would be that you would fill the pineapple with the lights. How cute. I don't know if it would be a tree topper or not, but it is really cool. And this little tiny... Oh, this is useful. It's a little tiny string lights, LED string lights, but it's powered by this little tiny watch battery sized um, thing. That's, uh, that's so cool. I've not seen little tiny string lights powered by batteries that small, and I have had applications where that would have been useful. So that's a cool thing to just know exists. All right, I'm going to put all that in the box so I can carry it all upstairs together with this. That is going to be so exciting. All right. Thank you very much, Alice the Owl. 
Okay, this says Kid and Academy. It just says for all to enjoy. Ooh, it's very interesting. There may be an additional note. Oh, whoa, and it lights up. It says it is a Nerf cat wobble bowl. Is that the same Nerf as it makes all the kids guns and toys and things? Uh, I guess it must be, right? How many Nerfs can there be? I did not know that they were now making cat toys. So it really is a ball track, um, but the ball track is placed at the top of a weeble wobble bowl so that the cats can bat it around. The bowl has another ball in it. The ball in the bowl has another ball. So there's a ball inside the ball inside the bowl with a bell. Uh, and then on the bottom, we've got this nerfy uh, silicone material so that it can stick and wobble a little bit. Very cool. Oh, I see. It says to take it apart and pick one of the balls and put it in there. Uh, but it might not leave them all in there. I could also see if you put some treats inside. There's a big hole here. They could knock it about until the treats came out like you would with a treat bowl. Uh, how fun. There we go. Mr. A, I saw this and it was too cute not to send for the kittens to play with. Please deploy from Joe and Haffers. Joe and Haffers, you take such good care of us. I'm excited to see the kittens play with this. I'm especially excited to see if Teaspoon likes it. It's technically a ball track, you know, uh, and he likes those. So let's see. Okay. He's not in here right now, though, is he? He's upstairs, I think. So we'll have to save that for that. Noisy, too. That's going to be a noisy one. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave that down here, I think. Maybe not in the bedroom. Uh, okay. This is from Mishi60. Let's see, maybe there's also a note. Deploy as you see fit, Mishi60. Oh, everything's falling out. Okay. The kittens are starting to real. Oh, these are so gross. I love it. Uh, everybody's starting to fall asleep, I was going to say. Okay, Mishi60. These are awesome. I did not know this existed. This is a new product for me. It is hex bug, like those little hex bugs that I, I make the cats play with all the time. They love them. That's what these are, hex bugs, but these are big insects. They look like actual bugs. And I was just, I'm trying to look under them to see if it's bugs on top of a hex bug or if they have a different mechanism, you know, like a different custom for these bugs. Even looking, it could be, I think they are real hex bugs that just have these little bugs stuck on top. Uh, look at that, though. They're all real bugs. Like, this is clearly a cicada, and it's perfect. It looks just like a cicada. Um, this, this one's the right size. Some of these are not. Like, this is some kind of a weevil, and it's huge. They are not that big. Um, this one I couldn't name right off the top of my head. Uh, that's probably one of those Japanese beetles. And then this looks like a cockroach, of course. How cool. Oh, so this one, okay, yeah, they're saying an assassin bug, which is, I, I would say that's a type of weevil. I don't know what anybody else would say. I see they're labeled now. This one says water scorpion. That makes sense. Japanese beetle, cicada, cockroach. Yes, I got that right. Good. Okay. How cool. Well, I bet the kids are going to love those, and they're just, just gross enough to have uh, be a little extra fun. Then, um, I don't know if you know, I've, I used to, like, really have a thing for bugs and for photographing bugs. And, uh, you know, I've got books and stuff. And it's just, it was fascinating. It has been fascinating. Uh, here we've got those little metal cages that have cat toys in them. And this is a set of different ones. I don't think I've seen one with the ball, uh, the bell ball inside of it. That's a good choice, though. I can see the kittens are already interested. This one has a rattle mouse in it. Um, these are really, man, that is loud. Uh, these are really fun because they last a long time, and if the cat toy inside gets used up, you can usually kind of squeeze it out and put something. I like to put mylar balls in them. It's another good choice. Uh, these are fantastic. These would make great endowments, too. Wow, I don't know if I can fit them all back in, though, so let's put one of the noisy ones out for them. Gosh, that is unbelievably loud. I don't know how much the, the uh, mic is picking up, but it is actually quite loud. Okay, and he sent another box of the same. Fantastic. 
I'm going to put those wherever we're ending up putting endowment -y stuff, I guess. Uh, but for now, let's keep rolling. How do you like that, huh? You going to get that ball out? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's working exactly the way it should. Ooh, what? Uh, did this say anything on the outside that I should have read? Um, how did this get to us? Oh, there it is. It's facing you guys. It does not. Okay. Well, it's got... Uh, oh, the fuzzy tail catnip toys. Are these the ones that are the the long mice? They, they're in a whole different package now. Let's see. No, these are the marshmallow kickers. Okay. So that's the marshmallow kickers. I think there's six of them in a box. Those are great kickers. And there's four boxes in here. So that is a lot of kickers, like 24 maybe, uh, if there's six in a box, I think there are. Here we go to the sweetest kittens, doubloons, farthing, ledger, and quid. Thank you for being so cute and entertaining. Please have fun with these fun tubes, springs, and kick toys in your new home from Laura Kitten Fan. Laura Kitten Fan, thank you. That's super sweet. These guys are going to love them. There we go. And as you say, uh, we've got the kickers, we have fun tubes, there's a whole bunch of those in here too, and a whole bunch of springs. And now we have the perfect box to put the endowment -y objects into, um, wherever they went. Strange. Endowment E ish. There we go, let's go over there. All right. Perfect. All right. Thank you very much. I'm curious to know what this giant thing is. It says unpack happiness. It says it is from pound cake. Um, that's pound cake, like ye old timey poundy cake. Uh, maybe it's spelled cakey then. I mean, if you're going to say pound, I, you know what? English is weird. It, there are no rules. Um, no rules without exceptions anyway. Okay. Let's see here. Wow. Uh, Pound Cake has sent us some kind of a cat tree kicker box thing. Scratcher. Words. <gasps> Wait. Oh, it's a little uh, bar. Uh, Izakaya bar. Um, I see that. We've got front of house, back of house, bar table, scratching mat, rooftop. It's got a decoration set with all of the uh, little, like the, uh, the happy, lucky cat that you can put on and little bottles of sake and beer and paper lanterns um, and a rope. I see. And it does. It goes together into a little, uh, little bar. That's so cute. That's going to be a very fun thing to see all the kittens hanging out in. Uh, maybe we can get them some, like, uh, shrimp in there. Uh, whatever it is that the mom cats like to drink these days. That's going to be fun to put out. Pound cake. Yoldy pound cake. Uh, thank you so much for that. I think the kids are going to have fun. Okay. Um, oh, look at that. How did this get so shredded, I wonder? Who could have done... Uh, are you opening this one for us, Raindrop? Okay. This is another one from Mishi60. And it looks like coffee. It is 100% Kona coffee. The 100%. Wow. Um, private reserve, medium roast, all-purpose grind. We have a... I'm kind of a big dill. Oh, this is cool. I've seen a catnip um, uh, pickle before with this same embroidery on it, but not... This one is like extra uh, heavy and like packed full of uh, filling. So this is like an extra nice version. And it has crinkle sounds and it's got this stuff that they like to chew on a little bit. I bet Raindrop would probably get a kick out of it. We also have Springs uh, from Mishi. Ah, uh, the coffee. This should help for those long kitten days and nights. Thank you, Mishi60. For immediate deployment or as you see fit. Okay. Well, uh, the, the pickle is, uh, is super cute and so are the springs. These guys have enough springs going at the moment. 
And the pickle I will put here with stuff that I'm going to put out, I think, in due time. Um, okay, that's an empty. This is an empty. We have two more boxes. It's noon, so we're actually making pretty good time after all once we got moving there. Let's see. So we have... Which toy is that? Oh, one of those big fuzzy mice. That's a good one. Okay. Oh, another one from Pound Cake. All right, Pound Cake. This one says, it's clearly some kind of a bed. I thought it was going to be a blanket. It says, cute pet house. Uh, cute pet house with cat and small dog brown. I mean, these labels never mean anything anymore, do they? Uh, let's find out. Oh, it's so nicely rolled up in here. That's never going back. Let's see if I can even get it out. Carefully now. <laughs> it's packed in there so tightly, I'm afraid that I would just cut Oh, you know, this would be the perfect opportunity for that new kind of knife. Too late. What on earth? Is it? It is. There's okay. This corduroy is nice. It's definitely going to have to floof up a little bit. Maybe a lot bit. Oh, it is. It is some kind of a house. I'm starting to see that. Look at that. It's got a cute little door. Uh, it's got a lot of like I don't know sizing or something. So we may have to actually put it through the wash to floof it up, or may want to. I don't know. I think that that, uh, that smells like new car smells. It's actually kind of nice. And then it's got, I see, a roof. And I bet once we zip this all up, uh, and once it's had a chance to refloof, it might actually start to look like a house. I don't know where the end of this zipper is. Oh, I see. It's got to be on the other side somewhere. Maybe. Possibly. There it is. Ta-da! Okay, and so this zipper's got to be in a corner somewhere. Yeah, right there. Oh, there it is. That's the end. Okay, now we got it. Okay, so again, I can see this has got a lot of standing up. How cute, though. I had no idea this was going to be a house. I would never have guessed. I guess that uh, label is a little more descriptive than, uh, than I thought. It was a literal house. That's cute. Oh my goodness. I love this, this like real big, I'm still going to call it quarter, right? I don't know what you call it. It's even got a little chimney on top, which I think we can floof up so it actually stands a little. Cute. Oh, okay. Go right in. I guess this house has a, a new owner. Somebody moved in already. All right. Well, it does have to do a little bit of refloofing, but that's super cute. Thank you, Pound Cake. Thank you so much. And I guess we can leave that right there because this last box will open back here so it doesn't get in the way. And this one appears to be from Bob and Ruth. Bob and Ruth, thank you. Uh, let's see here. Giant box, my goodness. Rolling pet carrier. Oh, that's nice on wheels. Those are really nice. Perfect for travel. Uh, easy access and ventilate. He's got a little chihuahua like sticking his head out of the top here. Um, that's so useful though. Um, a rolling pet carrier. That's that's just it's such. Uh, a, it eases things so much, um, especially with heavy cats like custard or when you're carrying a ton of them. Okay, this is. Oh, this is a great idea. What a great idea! It says. It says sheer fun for cats, and it's basically a sheer curtain like on the princess tent that's made so that you can hang it from like a chair or a table or a basket or something, and the kittens can run and play in it. Um, I know this is going to work really well, and uh, in fact, something I used to do uh, way back when I had, you know, like an apartment and, uh, whoop, 
uh, maybe not quite so many cats um, and maybe not quite so many cat things. Uh, uh, I would take like a like a blanket or um, like an old curtain or something and toss it over a, uh, a stool, a tall bar stool that we had. And it would make sort of a princess tent out of the bar stool and the blanket. And the cats would just love it. They would get like under there and bat each other through it. And fantastic. So, so this is like a, almost a commercial version of that same idea. And it's got a little extra thing with a Velcro so that you can have a little ball in there for them. Really smart. Okay. Uh, that's, that's just a great idea. I'm surprised I've never seen that before. Okay. Uh, here's a cat blanket with super cute little kitties on it, smiling, happy kitties. Ooh, a couple more, too. We've got, oh, this says for Ledger. I love the little frog heads on there, these cute little froggies. Doubloons has these smiling little fat kitties. Those are adorable. Teaspoon, fancy feast, purely chicken, white meat chicken. For beautiful teaspoon, you wrote. How sweet. He is a sweetie. This stuff's really useful too. Like um, this morning when we ran out of the, the chicken that we cooked for him, uh, he gets to have a little bit of the McDonald's, you know, and he likes that usually. Okay, baby swaddle, and it's got all these adorable little kittens on it. Uh, and it looks like it's made out of some kind of really nice linen, uh, uh, bamboo, I see, bamboo linen, like all the new ones are. Um, that's great. A K.A. Cat Mug, uh, the kind of coffee mug with the good lid. So these are fantastic. Thank you for that. Oh, and a nice rubber bottom so it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, we got the Yao Catnip for Till. Brilliant. Um, I guess I'll put it in the regular entanglement box. All this is going to have to go somewhere. I guess we'll probably put it right back in here in a minute. Kitten Academy fish. You know what? I was just, so I've been cleaning the basement and I was going through a whole bunch of stuff and I found some of these that you had sent in the past that I was going to put into endowments uh, that haven't been endowed yet. And I thought they're so cute. Uh, so I feel like I can put this one out right now just for fun because I know there's two more swimming around in our basement. Oh gosh, hopefully not really swimming. I shouldn't say that. With all the flooding issues we've had in the past. <laughs> all right. This is a Kitten Academy small pet bed, and it's got great fur on the inside, like a dense kind of marshmallowy fur. Um, it's got a little cat and a dog sleeping in it together in the photo. That's super cute. Hexagon pet bed. Woo. This is like a Miami Vice. Like this could have been part of the K.A. Con theme uh, with our palm trees and our pink and blue uh, theme pet bed. And then another bed. This is also sort of a, um, I would call this an 80s print. Maybe not, though. It's kind of got like an earlier uh, Mondrian kind of feel to it, too, doesn't it? I'm not sure, but it's cool. It's a great pet bed. We have the East Aurora Bee. Oh, my goodness. And they are um, last chance to see One Man, Two Governors. Aurora Player's latest production. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's going to be fun to read, too. I'll put that with my other paper. Okay, back there with the James Bay. Thank you very much for sending that. Finally, we're getting to a note, but there's still more stuff to unpack in here, too. So let's read the note. Ooh, cute little kitties all looking at something. Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. It's now cooler weather and cuddle your kitty time. We hope the kitties will enjoy some snuggle beds and blankets. The classes seem to grow up faster and faster each new class that comes. Also, hoping that our boy Teaspoon does well with his upcoming vet visits. As always, there's a little box of goodies for him. Thank you for all your, uh, thank you for all your hard work to help the sweet fur babies. Gratefully, Bob and Ruth. Well, we're the grateful ones. Thank you so much. And, um... Uh, wait, what was I going to say? Uh, snuggle beds faster and faster. Each new class comes. Gosh, I had something I, I specific that I wanted to say, and now it's just, I've lost that. But, uh, but thank you nonetheless. It's wonderful. Th these are great beds, and the, the kittens are going to love all of it. Uh, I don't know what's with the little princess Christmas tree ornament, but it is, it says Dr. DJ. It's a cute little sparkly pink princess. It's a Christmas tree ornament, but... See, um, a year or two ago, somebody sent in a sparkly pink 
license plate cover for DJ's car, and I put it on her car surreptitiously. Uh, and when she finally noticed it, she thought it was cute, and it's been on there ever since. So um, I might try to go hang this in her car. Wouldn't that be the right thing to do? And then she could uh, have a little pink kitty in there to go with it, and people are going to get the idea that she's so girly, uh, which she's really not. Um, but um, it's cute. I think it's cute. Okay, this is, uh, let's see, these look like the same fat little kitty blanket, one for Till and one for Farthing. They're pink, they're adorable. And let's see, you sent us a drizzle, one drizzle right there, plus quid. Oh, gets a frog blanket too, the floral frog blanket. That frog looks so happy. Uh, really cute. All right, now I think... I think that was the entire mailbag. Somebody's still in that house. I keep trying to move it. And I keep feeling a little heavy kitten in there. Oh, that's a little legend. Okay, legend. Well, you can live in the house for now, I guess. I don't think any of those uh, smells in there are going to hurt you any. I grew up with all those smells all day long. All my toys, the cars, the basement. Um, you know, I'm fine. Nothing wrong with me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's fine. And when he gets out, if he gets out, when I start picking stuff up, I'll, I'll bring it upstairs and we will we'll throw it to the wash once. But if not, I'm sure it's fine too. Okay. So these are all great to go downstairs. Bob and Ruth, thank you guys so very much. Yep. Oop, oop. There we go. Okay, good. And uh, let's see. I'm going to try to fit all this back in except the carrier. Maybe that will make it work. So uh, thank you, everybody, for everything. It's, it's just wonderful what great care you all take of these cats and how helpful it is for us. I just I couldn't even tell you um, what, a, what a comfort it is to have all of you there uh, for us, you know, and... and I appreciate that even when um, when things are going pretty well, like they are right now. I appreciate it, and I appreciate it even more. You know, when when things are, are tough and, and you're there to help, and it does mean mean a lot to me. So, um, I think those are all going somewhere. This is going downstairs, but not in the box. This is going upstairs to the chicken check-in closet. These are all empty, I think, I hope. All right, right back here. All right, well, I'm going to get this stuff put up, and just like usual, um, once I do, I will say thank you one more time, and we'll wrap up the archive. I don't remember if I set it in a way now that it's going to automatically upload. I think I might still have to go take care of that. Oh, well, that's good for me to remember to do. That by automatically upload, of course, I don't mean to YouTube. I mean to the folder where all the wonderful volunteers then take it. Um, yeah, that's been great. So great. Okay, let me get rid of this mic, too, before I forget so I can ramble safely.
Right? You can't sleep in the plastic wrap. I know, I know. This seems so fun. Hi, what are you telling me? What are you telling me? Ooh. Oh, yeah. This is going to go downstairs. <laughs> Yeah, don't do it silly. Stay in there if you know it's good for you. Trust me on that. Now, now, you don't need his drizzle. I thought you only didn't like her suit. Now she's out of suit. She's a friend. She's a frenzel. A frenzel. Can we put back on your pretty collar, Till? Can we do that? Here, here, here. So pretty on you. It's so pretty. There we go. Okay. Well, I think that's just about all of it. It got ready to go. That's a cool one, right? You know, they're all trying to figure it out. I don't know if it'll be fun forever, but certainly as a novel toy, 
They are digging it. Hmm. You said it, buddy. Yeah, you said it, little buddy. Uh, oh, oh, toe cramp. All right, there we go. All right, well, thanks, everybody. Um, I don't even know what to say now. <laughs> uh, all right, another awkward ending, and uh, I hope you all have a great week. All right, we'll check in later on. Feel free to keep watching. Oh, sorry, buddy. What are you doing? That's ridiculous right there. You gonna catch it? You're... You seem like you were gonna catch it. No? All right then, good job, Drizzy. What are you all asking for, kiddos? What is it? All right, well, you probably can't go out quite yet. Not later, though, I promise. No. 